All right, so here it is, folks. Saturday, October 21st, 2023. We come together en masse across this country demonstrating against Agenda 2030, an agenda created by an unelected, unaccountable foreign entity, imposing their will on our lives because our politicians have committed to this agenda numerous occasions. There's still people that refer to this as a conspiracy theory. <laughs> it's as real as rain. We all know this. Everybody in the freedom movement knows that it exists and this is what they're attempting to do. With the help of the World Economic Forum as a support mechanism led by Klaus Schwab who comes from Nazi stock. You've never voted for this. You've never had an opportunity to vote for this because they've all kept it from you. They've kept it from you because it wasn't politically expedient for them to come and tell you about it. In 1992, Brian Mulroney, after he signed it, it's not like he came back to Canada, tasked all his MPs to go back to their communities, their constituents, and let them know what it is that they committed to. No, what they did actually, with the help of the media, is they framed it as conspiracy theory and kept it from all Canadians <coughs> up until recently. Justin Trudeau has sort of let the cat out of the bag <clears throat> on numerous occasions that this agenda, this is what he's attempting to, to achieve, are the 17 goals of sustainable development, which consists of digital ID, CBDCs, SOGI, a complete transformation of how we live in this country, complete transformation from the values of Western civilization, the values that founded Western civilization. It's gonna completely destroy that. It's gonna turn into 15 minute cities where you're surveilled, where you have to walk and not drive, where you're living in a prison district. This is what this is. Now is the time for us to come together en masse across this country at every, in every community to voice our displeasure with our governments, our politicians committing to an agenda created by an unelected, unaccountable foreign entity. Now is the time. There's never been a better time for us to do this. And I've been at this game for 22 years. And now is the time. There's enough people across this country that are aware of what the consequences to this agenda are. And it's, it's also a mechanism to teach others who are still in the dark and still asleep. It's a mechanism for us to, to explain to people what this, what this protest is and why we're doing it. it. It's an incredible opportunity. We have to come together en masse across this country to denounce and reject Agenda 2030 and all of its goals. They want to transform your lives into something completely unrecognizable. They want to control every aspect of your life through this agenda. Now is the time to come together and denounce it and reject it loudly and proudly as Canadians who cherish the values we were raised under because they want to take those values and throw them away. Now is the time, come together. Saturday, October 21st, one o'clock, whatever time zone you're in, we have to come together and loudly and proudly denounce 
our politicians commitment to this agenda. It's incredibly important that we send the strongest message absolutely possible. And the only way we do that is on mass. We have to do this. We don't have a choice. This is it. And I was inspired because I saw a, a march in the UK that was standing against Agenda 2030 and all of its consequences, and there are many. So, October 21st, 1 p.m., which is a Saturday, we need to come together en masse across this country peacefully and reject Agenda 2030 as loud as we possibly can and with as many people as we possibly can. That's our job. This is to save what's left of our country. This is our opportunity. Let's come together and do it. Thanks.